Taxonomies are another way of saying categories. Let's show you how to add some taxonomies. On my site I have a whole series of books and we're going to add a lot more books and I want to categorize these books by different things. For example, I might set up all the books for Drupal, books that are PHP books, CSS books, and of course I don't want to leave out science fiction. We can always expand these uh, categories or taxonomy as we need to. So we're going to go into structure, taxonomy, and we're going to add a new vocabulary. So I'm going to go in here and call this types of book, books, and I want to create new terms so I'm going to come over here and add terms and I'll put in PHP I'll put in Drupal and I'll put in CSS So I can look at my taxonomy and you can see now I have a, a new vocabulary and it has several terms in it. And all of these are editable, whatever I need. Now that's established, so now if I go into my content type, so again I'll go into structure, content type, and I want to change my book review. So I'm going to edit my book review. And I want to change my fields. So I'm going to add a new field. The field type is going to be term reference. I can have these presented different ways, but I'm going to use checkboxes and then I'll do a save. I'm going to pick the vocabulary, and in this case I want type of books. I'm going to leave my help text. I'm not going to have a default value, and I'm going to allow unlimited choices. So I might have a book that covers all three. Now the next time a content editor comes in, they'll go in and say content, add new content, they'll create a book review, And you can see down here that we can check on the type. The content editor can also go in and look at existing content. And as long as it's of type book review, here's the foundation of Drupal 7, we can edit that. And as we scroll down, we can see this is a Drupal book and we can set that setting. So consequently, you'll want to have your taxonomy established pretty well before a lot of content is added to the site, although you can go back in and change it in the, afterwards. The site administrator can also go into structure, views, and set the views based on this 
different category type. So let's go into our book review and edit it. And we're going to go into the filter criteria and we're going to add a filter for this book. So we're going to look for book type. We're going to select the book type. We're going to use a drop down. And we're going to allow the users to choose what type they want to look at. So here's our choices here. We'll just take those as they're presented. And when we look at the results, we see this drop down box and we can look at all the CSS type books. And you can see down here that CSS to go shows up. We can also change this to all the PHP books. There should be none. Or we can change it to any of the books and they should all apply. So here we go from our three books we added earlier to our CSS to go. So you can see how the taxonomy can be used to categorize things as they're being entered, as content is being added, as well as how we display them. It allows us to group things together. It's really smart to think your taxonomy out ahead of time so the site can be built up on a firm foundation.